Hi there guys, Zaid McKay from Digital DIY SA and in this uh, free video tutorial I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to build your very own business website quickly and easily without knowing any code. Um, so as you can see what, what you have on the screen here is the end result of what we're going to build today and obviously this is for any business we just I just happen to use a construction uh, business as an example here but you can literally use this I'll show you you can use the same training and tutorial for any type of business whether you're a catering business a salon uh, a lawyer it doesn't matter you can use the same tutorial the same steps that I'm going to show you um, to build out a website a professional looking website um, for any business okay so I'm going to teach you exactly how to get this going quickly and easily and obviously how to edit everything according and to customize it according to your business so obviously you won't just use the standard uh, layout that you have here you'd use uh, my suggestion is to obviously use your your business images uh, the text that you want to put on here um, you know your information etc and again it's going to be simple and easy um, if you're able to operate with um, you know with Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and the basic programs then you can certainly work with what I'm going to show you right here it might even be easier and um, my goal my mission is to empower my local South Africans my or should I say my fellow South Africans uh, those who are entrepreneurs uh, small business owners who want to empower themselves and you know you don't have to pay thousands and thousands for a website obviously this is a basic website um, the specific website we're going to work with here has about eight pages right I'm gonna show you exactly how to do all this and uh, what you can do to edit it so that you can have it exactly the way you want it okay so without further ado uh, let's go and make it happen this is for you if you want a simple professional website if you're a small business owner if you're a startup an entrepreneur and you, you perhaps don't have enough capital to pay a professional to do it for you uh, you, you maybe want more control over your website um, I'll through this process you'll learn exactly uh, not just obviously how to build the website but how to long term to maintain it maybe you want to add more pages maybe you want to delete content later edit the content add pictures etc etc you can do that and I'll teach you how to do that you can have more control uh, if you want to build a site for a family member or a friend maybe so maybe your your aunt or your uncle or uh, a, a best friend of yours has a small business uh, that do not have a website and this is your way to contribute to them in some way okay um, and you could do this by obviously following the program following the, the the tutorial and building a professional looking website for them okay uh, this is for you if you are willing to invest the time to take the action steps that I'm going to show you and also to invest 200 rand a month it was well, actually less than 200 rand a month but I just rounded it off uh, into your website so um, that's what it costs for for hosting and also your domain costs uh, you'll I'll explain the whole process to you now okay <clears throat> this is not for you if you want an advanced uh, website, if you want an e-commerce website, like a directory style website, you know, if you want like an Amazon style, eBay style, uh, anything that's really advanced, obviously this is not for you. This is the, this is not a tutorial for that. Uh, we do. I'm going to show you how to do a really simple professional website for your business. Uh, if you are not willing to learn and take action, obviously this is not for you because you know this is the process. You learn what I'm saying, you take action what I'm saying, and you get the result. Uh, if you are lazy, obviously it won't work for you. If you are unwilling or unable to invest at least 200 rand a month into your website, again it's a bit less than that. But if you're unable or unwilling to do so, then obviously this is not uh, a tutorial for you. Now, just to clarify and demystify, uh, yes, you can get things like web hosting and you can get a website kind of like for free and all that kind of stuff. But as long as you are not paying for it, you do not own it. This is very important for you to understand. How it works online is that, for example, if you have your business out there now, most people have a Facebook page, maybe an Instagram account, maybe a, maybe a YouTube um, channel, okay? The thing about that is that you don't own those channels. You don't own those platforms, right? Facebook owns your Facebook profile. Instagram owns your Instagram account and etc. Okay, you get the point. So if for whatever reason, let's say you've got a Facebook page and you've got a um, you've got some competitors that don't like you or you've got people in your life that don't want you to succeed, which is which happens, uh, they can flag your page and flag your account to Facebook and without reason your your well without without notification your Facebook page can just be deleted 
Okay, so this has happened before. It's happened to my clients in the past. In the past, um, this, the important point to understand here. Okay, I love I love social media. I think it's fantastic for getting the business out there. But you don't you do not own those platforms. You gotta have if you wanna have strength online, you gotta own the platform. And I'm gonna show you with your less than 200 rand a month how to own your online platform. It's basically your online asset. Okay, so there we go. Just to clarify, to start out, just to really demystify the confusion around what is a domain name, what is web hosting, I like to use a very simple metaphor. So as you can see here, this is the internet over here, right, the street. Um, imagine like you're going to build a house now, right, the end result. This is the end result. There's three major things that you need. You need your land or your plot upon which to build, right, that's your space. Let's call it your allocated space upon which you can build, right then with that land comes your address that's obviously how people locate you in the city right you need an address a location and then thirdly you got the house the actual construction of the building itself those are the three things that you need um, to build any property right now with your online property or your website you need exactly well this is this is how we related to to that to the online property okay your land or your, your space right is basically your web hosting your web hosting is your online space where you build and store your website okay your address right your your domain name is how people find you online your www.mybusiness.co.za simple the third thing is your actual building that's the website okay i think that's pretty clear if you're still unsure about that then just uh, you know comment in the comments below and ask the questions and I can see if I can answer you then help you further but that's pretty simple to understand you've got your web hosting it's your space online your domain name is how people find you it's your address and then thirdly your website itself I'll show you how to set up all three quick sticks okay so three steps to build your website hosting you get your domain name and you build your website okay the hosting I recommend is GoDaddy South Africa. Now you can go with any hosting company you want. You might be with a hosting company. It's completely up to you. Okay. If 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 you want to research other options out there, personally I have international hosting companies that I work with. Um, I've got and and locally I'm only working with GoDaddy simply because they they've been around since the 90s. They've been around for 20 years. They recently just launched a local South African office where they've employed South Africans and uh, they are regarded as expert hosting specialists you know they, these are the guys if you ever have a problem they offer 24 hours 7 365 local support now this is important guys because I've been doing this for a while at least uh, almost seven years now and there's nothing more frustrating than working with a hosting company that doesn't know what they are doing okay and this or where you don't get 24 hour uh, support you know where something happens to your website and you contact them and they take maybe a day or two to get hold of you first of all to respond to your to your messages or they're simply unable to help you okay there's nothing more frustrating than that because when it comes to hosting you know we don't know anything about the hosting the technical side of things the only people that can help you is the hosting company so so why I suggest GoDaddy besides the good deals they have running in South Africa is they've been around forever they know what they are doing okay um, and they offer 24 7 telephone support locally in South Africa okay so that's why I personally suggest them then secondly uh, you get your domain name you also get it through GoDaddy I'll show you now it's very simple that's your .co.za that's how people find you on the internet and they've got a 10 rand deal at the moment for South Africans um, and that's for the for what I, from what I understand is for the year of 2019 so Take advantage of that deal while you while you can okay then the website i'm going to show you that we can use wordpress a uh, wordpress is the most user-friendly platform out there that i that i know of and there's no coding needed but also on the flip side uh, it's highly respected in terms of it's a fantastic platform to use for web design and also um, google likes wordpress websites right now we're also going to use a free professional theme okay think of this as your interior designer for your house we're gonna make it look amazing think of WordPress right the, the, the website builder as the house the construction without the prettiness like it's the wall like the walls and there's no paint 
and there's no furniture, it doesn't look nice yet. But with the professional theme, we just through drag and drop, we can have a stunning looking website. Okay, like we come in and we've brought in our own interior designer for our house. Okay, I think that's pretty well explained. Um, okay, so we're going to go into the actual process of doing. Okay, so the first step is to set up hosting and domain. You'll see that these two steps are done in one go. Um, so what we're going to do is go to GoDaddy. If you're going to use this hosting, obviously, completely up to you again. I've added a link directly to GoDaddy's homepage, just so that there's no confusion. Because sometimes, if you go on your, yourself on Google, you end up in the wrong place. So what I've done for simplicity and for clarity, I've added the link in the description of this video below this video. Okay. We're going to register with GoDaddy, and then you're going to take advantage of the deal for 2019. Okay. So, if you click on the link in the description, it will take you to this page. Right? This is the GoDaddy South Africa homepage. Then, what you're going to do, click on menu, click on hosting. We're going to select WordPress hosting. Okay. So, as you can see here, they've got Fantastic support, 24 like 24/7, 365. Okay, 99.9% .9 uptime, which means your website won't just disappear. And they've got a money back guarantee, which is quite cool. Obviously, it's up to you to go ahead and read those those de those finer details of how that guarantee works if you want to. Now, these are the four options, the hosting options. We don't need any of these three. We just just go with this one. You can have a look at these if you want, if it's relevant to you. But otherwise, we just go here, add to cart, ignore the 68 rand, I'll tell you why. So how it works is, this is the hosting options, the packages, the pricing. The default one selected is 36 months. That's going to work out to 68 rand per month. But how this works is you've got to pay upfront for the full 36 months. Okay, so that's 2004, call it 2,500 rand. Now, obviously, that's your call, it's your business, you decide. If you feel that you want to just pay the two and a half and then have your website hosted for the next three years, all good, no problem, that's completely up to you. There's other options as well. For now, we'll just go with the one month option. It's 112 Rand per month, okay? And um, you'll be invoiced, well, GoDaddy will send you an invoice via email. Uh, every month, just reminding you that, obviously, if you'd like to renew your website, Again, for the next month, then again, you pay the 112 Rand a month again. Okay, simple. Continue. Then we're gonna go to. Okay, so there we go. They've put the 112 Rand per month hosting package in the cart. Then the next step is to check if your domain name is available. So we're gonna go with. Um, three, oh well, let's go DIY tutorial. Let's see what's there. DIY website. This is the one I'm making up. Obviously, you have to, okay, first of all, don't put the www, just put the name of your business in. And you've got to check if your business name.co.za is available. Okay. So this one is available, obviously. I just made that up. So if yours is, um, I don't know, John's Electrical, John's Electrician or whatever, then this is how you check if it's available. If it's not available, if it says unavailable, then obviously you've got to just get out, think outside the box, and think of other ways to um, to name your website. Okay. Then all I'm going to do now is go and press. Buy. You'll see it says 69 Rand. Just think, you'll see now in 2019 they have a special where it's 10 Rand. You'll see now. There we go. See here. 89% off, which makes it 10 Rand for your domain name. Yes, it here. Okay, then every year, so 12 months from now, you'll pay 99 Rand per year. It's an annual fee. Okay. And again, this is your hosting fee, 112 Rand per month. So as you can see, it's well under the 200 Rand per month that I said in the first, uh, the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, so that's what you'll pay today.
Now, what we have to do is, you don't have an account, so you have to create an account. What you're going to have to do is email, username, password, and make up a four or four letter, a four number pin over here, whatever it might be, one, two, five, six, whatever. Okay, that's your pin. Keep it safe. That's for when you contact support and you create your account. And then what you do, it'll take you to the actual um, uh, checkout basket, and then you just make sure that the amount. Just double check. I always like to double check these things to make sure that the amount is in fact. 138.79 and then you just go through the process you know you, you you pay for it you complete the payment and then once you complete the payment you're gonna go to a page that will look something like this this is your confirmation page okay um, and this is where we'll continue with the process of building your WordPress website or launching your WordPress website okay so just make the payment it's very simple just follow the process, follow the cues, <clears throat> and then when you get to this page, then we will continue with uh, step two, which is uh, sorry, step three, which is launching your WordPress website. Okay, so you've completed um, the payment for step one and two, which is your hosting and domain setup, and you should land on a uh, payment confirmation page that looks something like this. Um, all you want to do, it might look different depending on when you are watching this video, but what you want to do is come to the, the tab that says Managed um, WordPress. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually launch your WordPress um, from your hosting account. Okay, so look for this icon or the word Manage WordPress, and then it'll take you to this page. Um, tell us what type of website to add. I'm building a brand new site. Make sure that is selected. Get, press Get Started next um, now you want to pick your domain obviously you want to go to the drop drop down menu here and select the domain that you created okay and um, click on the button that says next here at the bottom then for this just make sure you you select one that says recommended click next um, now you're going to create your username and password this is for your records um, try, yeah, you know, obviously do a memorable username and try and make your password as difficult as possible to prevent anybody from hacking into your website. Obviously, make sure you store it somewhere safe for your own reference. Okay, click on install, install. Okay, so you're installing WordPress now, and then it'll say, Yeah, WordPress successfully installed. You press get started, um, just say no thanks. A pop-up box will come up and just say OK and now it will jump to your WordPress dashboard this basically means your website is now live okay so this is your um, WordPress dashboard or the back office of your website and what we're gonna do is go ahead and build a professional looking website this for me is the most uh, you know fun part of it all um, it's amazing how quickly and how professionally you can design your website uh, if you know what you're doing um, and which which tools to use so what we're going to do is we're going to use one theme okay it's a, it's a wordpress theme that's free and, and it's a professional one and then we're going to use two plugins okay so the the theme basically look at the theme as your your framework let's say you had a picture like a picture frame right that's your theme and then uh, with, the, with like a piece of canvas right and then the two plugins that we're going to add we're going to install those two things basically um, allow you to basically draw on on you know to paint it's basically your, your your paint set so to speak your tools for the actual uh, a drawing that you want to make essentially right and uh, we can just go with the one plugin but both of them really takes it to the next level it's essentially like giving yourself um, the best possible um, uh, paint set and and kind of like drawing instruments in order to, to design a beautiful painting okay so here we go you just go to appearance themes add new then we're gonna search for the theme over here it's called Astra 
should only be one. There we go. Astro theme. It should look like this. Install. So again, this allows us to create the framework upon which to um, design our website. Activate. So by pressing activate, it uh, basically installs on the actual uh, WordPress website. So now you can see here, um, you can see that it is live on the website, right? Okay, so then what we're going to do is come here to uh, plugins. So we're going to add new plugin. Think of a plugin as basically an add-on to the WordPress website that allows us more functionality really. I don't want to get too technical with it. Uh, so we want Elementor, first of all. Eli, so I can't even spell. Elementor. Uh, Elementor is one of the most popular plugins out there. Uh, again, it's free, it's professional, and it allows you to basically drag and drop. Um, in other words, it's like, it's like uh, building with Lego, really. Um, instead of having to know how to code, you use something called Elementor. It's a page builder. And it's really, it's really fun and simple to use. Activate. Okay, and lastly, we're going to add a new plugin. And we're going to say Elements. Elements is, let's just put in, let's just check what comes up there. So elements, basically, you can install this one, you want this one over here, Envato Elements. So all three, the theme builder that we installed, and these two plugins work very well together. Now you do get other free themes out there, in fact there are like literally probably millions or hundreds of thousands of themes out there that are free but a lot of them you just don't know whether they've got um, issues with their coding or they've got you know issues with the actual um, theme itself and and it's safe to say that these ones over here um, are are brilliant you know the um, the three things that we just installed now so you can you can have peace of mind knowing that you're working with three very good tools okay so this is how the website looks at the moment so it'll be a very basic looking <coughs> default template at the moment or the standard default look of your actual WordPress website. Nothing very pretty, but I'll show you very quickly how we can change it, okay? So where we start first is we choose, so let's say for example, we wanna start by building out the home page, okay? So what we do is first of all, we come to the pages this is, if you click on this, it's going to show us all pages. The first step is to delete the default pages you have in here. Bulk actions, move to trash, apply. So you click on that, click on, you know, tick, tick, uh, move to trash and apply. So those are gone. So now we're going to create brand new pages from scratch. So just go, I agree, I agree, continue. Obviously, if you want to, read the terms and conditions. And then, so this is where you basically, depending on your company, business, will determine which template you start with. Okay, so there's so many to choose from. Just uh, take note, you got the pro version and you got the free version. There's nothing that says pro here, right? That's the free versions. Obviously, if you want to go ahead and go for the pro version, you can pay for it if you want. It's up to you completely. Just click on that and go through the process. But I'm showing you how to do this completely for free. So um, you just go for the, the designs that do not have the word pro in the picture. Okay, and they look amazing, by the way. So what I would suggest is just pause the video for a second and just pull out notepad or grab a pen and paper if you can. Um, and just kind of get an idea of the the number and type of pages you want on your website okay for a small business you don't need a lot um, if you're not sure just go and have a look at your competitors and to, to give an idea for a small business you're looking primarily at your home page uh, you want an about page a contact page those are pretty much your basics uh, then a services page let's do this your services page uh, that little list all your services on there then um, ideally maybe like a portfolio of sorts portfolio so depending on the type of business obviously you want to display your work so 
uh, you know, makeup artists, um, photographers, uh, building or construction industry, you want to have some kind of portfolio to display your work, right? You know, um, so it depends, obviously, maybe this will be called a gallery for your business, uh, whatever works for you, right? So, you know, for, for most small businesses, this is fine. So in this example, I'm just going to use um, a theme for, I'm going to assume, let's say I'm a trade, I'm a, sorry, I'm a builder and I want to build myself a website. So that's where I go, trade and construction, come down here, there's various options, home construction, uh, home renovations, uh, just find the one that's most suited to your business. They've even got a mechanic option here, which looks amazing. Um, and here yeah, you've got a builder option over here. So if I click on this, I can see that all of these templates are free. Let's just have a look. Yep, pretty much all of them are free. So I'll choose between these two other two home pages I can choose from. I'm just going to go with this one here. So I can scroll down here and have a look at how it looks. You can see how professional that is. Obviously, we can edit everything on this page. And what I do is I simply say, yeah, home page. I call it home, right? Create new page. What this does, it saves it as a draft for me. And I'll show you how to access that and take it from there. But let's first save each page. So while that waits, I'm going to have a look here. I need my about page. So let's scroll through and get my about page. So I've got this option here about us. You can see the word underneath here that tells you what page it is, right? About us. Let's check this out. Okay. About us two. Check this one. I like this one. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. It's just your preference, really. About. That's fine. You don't have to say about us. This is this is all good. Then I want to create a services page. Okay, so I've got two options here available to me. Services. Okay. Okay, I like this one. <clears throat> Services. Then portfolio. <clears throat> Obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, for a construction company, your portfolio is quite important. Okay, or we call it projects. There we go. Let's call it projects rather. Oh. Sorry, I'm. I like to be a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> so this is the page here. These are the. Pro this is a great way to display your projects. Okay. projects okay and then the cool thing here they give you the option he has a page that basically gives a breakdown of each project which is quite cool so I'm gonna do that as well so I'm gonna say it's a sub page of the projects page so it's a uh, let's say project one project two project three Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Let's go project detail. So this gives the details of each project. It's quite cool. Um, so let's call this project one. Obviously, uh, you know, you can call it more specifically, like let's say the project was for um, maybe you did a, uh, you're a builder and you did a building for EPSA Bank or something. You can say um, EPSA project, you know. That kind of thing. Then use the same template, you just call it something else. Project two. The same page again, we call it uh, project three. Oops. Okay. So, what's next? Uh, contact. We need our contact page. So, there's two options to choose from. Um, I like this one. I love it when there's a map, it just looks so nice. 
Um, let's just check what is this. Yeah, I like the big map. That's just me. <laughs> Contact. Okay. So we've saved it, uh, these pages as a draft, as I said. And I'll show you how to access them now. Pages. Yeah, all pages. So you'll see they're all saved as a draft. You see? That's all the ones we just made now. Then I like to go in order. So there's the home page, right? Click on the home page. So for every page, you've got to make sure that these um, you've got to make sure these few things will be on the right side. You've got to make sure that the title is disabled. So disable title, you just click on that. And just make sure that the template, the Elementor, is full width. Okay. Then you click here, edit with Elementor. Now you're going to see the fun part. Okay, so this is how it looks. So this is where this is your home page here. On the, this is the right side here. The left side is where you basically play with things. Okay, but I'm going to show you now. This is what you do. You edit. You can drag things if you want, but we're not going to really drag much of anything at the moment. What we're going to do is this is your home page. So what you want to do is click on this little arrow button to close there. But this is how your your website will look. Right, professional, etc. Then what you do is let's say you want to change the background picture, just open that up. You click right click, just right click, right? On the picture, you right click, edit selection. Okay. So basically what we're saying is in this blue block, sorry, this blue square here, right? We want to right click and edit the section. Right? Then you come to style. And you choose the image you want that's simple to choose the image you want you click on this okay this is your media library this is the this is the images that's been preloaded for you because of the theme that you picked the construction team gave you this it's part of your current website right so then you can upload your own files okay and you select here and then you you go and collect images as you would you know for any other program like this you can come and click images out of a file or whatever the case may be okay that's simple okay then let's say you want to change the text all you do is you click here and you just change it boulders with um, excellent excellent skills okay um let's build your dream home um and then the point of this is to show you how to edit things now what you can do is you can obviously change it in the block as i've showed you or let's say you want to click in there again let's go back there you can change it here as well excellent um builders with excellent building skills okay obviously you want to say things that actually make sense then you can change the actual you know like you have on word microsoft word same concept you just highlight oops highlight bold underline whatever you want to do really uh you can change the let's check here quickly yeah that's i mean that's fine you can play with it and see what you can do with it uh, you also one word of advice for web design or um, visual appeal you want to keep the text as readable as possible don't go too crazy people almost uh, you know people don't appreciate it when it becomes too crazy and too bold and underlined and, you know just keep it really simple and make sure that the actual color contrasts nicely against the background so for example this orange isn't actually the best uh, of colors actually technically it should maybe even be white um, but I see they're trying to match I suppose the color but play with it a bit uh, just try and make sure that the words are as readable as possible like let's build your dream home is clearly uh, visible for the reader okay so you scroll down and yeah again the header you can just change it 
we provide cost effective um, cost effective cream homes cream homes oops, cream homes and then you just scroll over there and you just go we are the best in Cape Town South Africa See, I'm, I'm, so this is only a demo and I'm still a bit of a um, perfectionist we are the best in Cape Town South Africa um, whatever you want to say to um, not convince but convey how much value you can bring to your visitors biz, biz I tours life okay remember your business is all about adding value to your customers so it's an exchange of values so the more value you add the better so the whole website is meant to basically uh, convey that message okay so 420 projects let's say you want to change that uh, don't worry about all this other stuff just change the text itself so let's say you want to change that to 422 projects you can do that uh, or you can change this completely and say it's something else 420 uh, I don't know uh, you can make that up as you go 100 percent um, satisfied costumers nope there. let's say clients oops I also can't spell um, and then there you can change the picture what do you do click right click edit image right see that edit image there you are remember I said click on that and you upload the file etc very simple okay drag and drop our clients so this is quite cool so yeah you can just again click on there and upload a picture of your clients logo which is quite cool latest projects okay so latest projects remember we created a project page right so what you would do here you can change the image of obviously your actual projects and you can do that by clicking on this uploading the file remember and then you just upload the file um, you can change the size to smaller medium large etc uh, this, you can just play around here and you know it's, it's very similar to like Word or a PowerPoint um, I mean this whole drag and drop experience is very easy you just got to play around with it you can't break anything uh, you can just uh, if you ever get lost or whatever you can just you know if you just let's say you play around and you don't like it at all all you do is back arrow okay let's, let me show you what happens here let's say you've played with this and you're just not happy with what you've done right remember all of these things are texts they text and images and you can change it just as I've explained to you or on all the way on all the web pages okay then um, let's say you're not happy with anything you've created here you just go backspace changes you made may, what changes you made may not be saved leave and that then basically reverts back to the original um, one that you saw so let me show you what I mean So it basically reverts back to the original theme again. There we go, back to square one. So the point is basically to go ahead and play around with um, your web page and you know do what you want to do, change images, you know change the text accordingly. Um, remember you can also let's say for example you want to get rid of this whole section you can just delete the whole section right um, let's say for example you want to delete this part here sorry you just right click you see you right click in the block itself and you delete it's gone okay you know how to edit the actual text you just click inside there and you change it add your oops add your text okay so you get the idea <clears throat> then um, what we want to do is basically publish the page 
when you know once you're happy with all your text and stuff the page is live you can have a look if you want so we just right click or okay, let's just click on that it opens a new tab and you can have a look at your home page okay so what we can do is just change the actual to make sure that this is like full width proper full width let's just go back here let's go just make sure that on every single page with the disable title you also do disable primary header and your customizer settings are full width stretched that allows let me show you what that does so basically with every page just make sure that this is elemental full width make sure that those two are ticked and make sure that this is full width stretched okay so we're gonna have a look at how it looks now so just click on the eye to preview changes it opens another window and you see it's full width obviously when it's live you won't see this over here your visitors don't see this over here okay that's for you for your own editing but you can see now it's full width and it's it looks stunning okay so let's go back close this window let's go back so i've published the home page now i'm just going to publish all the other pages and then we'll take we'll do the other steps that we need to get done as well so let's go to pages so to simplify this process let me just make sure you can see okay so if you go Okay, so I want to basically publish all the pages. Okay, so you obviously gonna have to, like we did with the home page, you wanna open it up, you wanna edit accordingly, and then you wanna publish the, the page. But obviously, I'm not gonna do every single page um, because this is a demo demonstration. So to make things go a bit quicker, I'm gonna right click and open each one. The home page is done already. All right. Um, The right click and open every single one of them. <clears throat> okay, then I'm gonna go to each one, make sure that those features okay, element of full width, that's right. Customize the settings, full width stretched, title, okay. Get it with elemental. This is my contact page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to publish the green button publish. Okay, that's done. I just close that. Then over here, this is the project one page. I can just go and full width element. So that's right, elemental full width. Then customize the setting. The second one is the content layout. You want to have it stretched. Uh, you want to have it that one and that one there. Publish. Publish. Okay, and then project two, the same thing. Limit of full width. You want to do it a couple times, it becomes quite easy. So I'm going to do that with every single. Okay, so I've published all my pages, so I'm just going to close these tabs here quickly. published okay if we look at the website now we'll see it's going to go to a post which is what we don't want I'll show you how to change that that's the next step okay you'll see that it's actually all over the place um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a few couple settings to make it look amazing we're going to get the menu up here make it look professional um and because right now we our home page is still just a normal post right we've got to make the home page the actual home page so it sounds confusing but let me show you what i mean okay so there's you go to settings this is very important there's two simple settings we're going to change here reading so you go to settings go to reading then we choose uh the home page displayed is now a post that's why it looks so funny so we want to say we want, to, we want a static page to be the home page and we want it to be the home page okay so the home page that we created is going to become 
the actual home page. Uh, it sounded confusing, hopefully not too confusing. <laughs> okay, so we save changes and now if we go check out the site, I should have the home page there. There we go. That's the home page we built. We've now just assigned it as the home page. Looking good. Okay. And then the other setting we've got to change is this permalinks. Permalinks, okay? That's it. This is the only two settings we're going to change. You've got to make sure that the post name is selected because then um, your the name of your page will look look good, look decent. It won't have this funny, you know, sample post and archive one, two, three, and dates and all these funny things. It'll just be your website with a page name. So it'll be your website with about or uh, services or whatever the case. It will look professional and also Google likes that. So make sure the post name is selected and press save. Okay, so those two settings are done. The next step is to uh, set up our menu. Let me show you here. Right now our menu is not set up. You see there's no menu. We've got the pages but it's not linked because there's no menu. Let me show you. How are we going to do that? You go to Appearance, Menus. You see, we first had to create the pages before we could do these little items here. Okay, so the first thing, just name it whatever you want. I always call it Primary Menu. Oops, what happened? Oh, I didn't select it. Sorry, my bad. Create Menu. There we go. You can call it whatever you want Primary Menu, Menu 1, and then you just select the pages you want to be under that menu, which is all of them. Okay, add to menu. Now this is where we rearrange the positioning. Okay, so top to bottom is arranged left to right on the website. So home, about, services. That's generally uh, the kind of like design option that you want. You kind of want that kind of home. Then the about page because people want to know more about you. Then your services and kind of like your contact at the end, you know. Then your, your project one. Wait, where's project? Okay, I might have missed that page. Okay, I have to go back and do that. So project two, project three. Okay, let me just quickly pause this. Okay, so I just went back and I just <clears throat> I just published the projects page. I, I, I looked like I missed that one, but anyway. So once you um, actually publish the page, which we've done. Then it'll show over here and you can add it to your menu. So here we go home about services projects. And then these are the sub menus under projects. And I'll show you how that looks on your menu item. It'll be a drop down menu to show these three. Okay, so let's save menu. Actually, I've just got to just remember to tick primary menu. Okay, primary menu, save menu. So in order to design a professional looking menu bar on the top here you'll have like a header over here if you are sorry your logo over here and you'll have your menu options over here with a drop down menu so for example your projects tab will have project one two and three and um, for us to do that to keep things simple without needing to write any code we're going to use a plugin called quad menu okay so let's go back to our dashboard which is our back office then you come down to plugins add new and we are going to look for quad menu q u a d menu that's it okay so mega menu for astro by quad menu that's the one you want install now activate then on the next page what you want to do is just click on install quad menu over there that's the second one okay it's installing Okay, so that's it. Activate plugin. Now, once it's installed, right, we're going to go and configure or just make sure the settings are correct in the actual uh, quad menu plugin. So, what we do is we wait for it to load. Okay, it's done. Configuration, primary menu, make sure that the integration is on and that the theme being used is astralite okay that's a default setting but just make sure you know you just never know just make sure that's activated correctly 
uh, you can have it in the footer menu as well if you want but for now we're just going to leave in other words the footer of the website in other words the bottom but uh, for now we'll leave that you can play with this and see what else you can do to it remember you can't break anything um, and then just make sure that you save it okay um, but first make sure to check default theme the menu I like to do it like this this is default settings uh, if it's different just make sure you click the middle one and alignment is this one over here so you've got your logo and then your menu options over there okay then you can play with these things over here so let's just save that for now then what we want to do is we want to add the actual menu to each page so you go to the home page what I'll do is I will do a couple on, on the screen here and then I'll probably do the home page and the about page edit with Elementor and uh, then you can continue with the rest of your pages because it's really quite simple so you should be quite familiar with the scene over here this is your home page so what we want to do is we want to add the menu over here on top right so you click on the plus that's to add a section right you scroll down here and because we've added the plugin of the quad menu it will now appear over here as an option for you to select so you just click on that you drag it and you drop it then it'll give you the standard layout so what you want to do is you want to change this up there's a few simple settings make sure that your primary menu is selected that's the menu that we've created previously uh, you can play with this if you want I just keep it with claps with the, the layout of everything then the default theme you I, I personally prefer astro light because I don't like the dark background there we go so then the logo you can change that's the logo there I just uh, use like I'm gonna use a generic logo that I created for this for this tutorial okay personally I prefer the logo on the left side and this on the right side so you just say align right We go now you can play with this if you do center it's another option if you want but uh, personally I like I like it like this okay and that's it okay so just save it update so you do the same thing with every single page now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to add an icon next to each menu menu word basically next to home about which is quite cool something different so you go back to your um, dashboard so you go appearance menus I'm going back to that same place again okay now you'll see that I've got the quad menu option there you just click on that click on icon and you can choose from quite a big selection of icons here that's all the way down um, so for the home button I want to basically use that there saves automatically press X and you go check out the about okay icon and I'll just pick something quickly it's fine obviously you can choose whatever you want that's relevant to the word okay services um, icon services I saw quite a nice one here <coughs> fine projects I'm just gonna choose anything randomly here you'll see now how much nicer it actually looks it just adds something different to your website something more professional looking I think okay so now this will again add the icon next to the menu items okay so if you go and just visit the site quickly there we go I think that looks awesome there's the icons that you've selected you can change it as you want now obviously the about page doesn't have the menu because you haven't added it yet so I'll just do that quickly edit with Elementor Remember we add a section, 
scroll down, click, drag and drop. Okay, change a couple settings. Okay, Astra Light. Okay, choose a logo. And the line right. Simple. Obviously, you'll see that your icons are already there because that's that's already set. Okay, it doesn't change. Okay, so update, and that's it. So now you do the same with all the other pages, right? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pause the video and do it to the other pages. But you get the idea. You just do it for all your pages. Okay. Okay. So now that your site is up and you've got your menu on there, it looks looks good, looks professional. You've done your edits of your text and your pictures and everything else and uh, you've set your menu on all your pages etc uh, there's two more edits that I want you to be aware of um, and I wanted to save it for at kind of like this point of the tutorial you can do it at any point really of the building process but I like to leave it for the end because now all the pages are up etc so um, this there's important there's two important things first of all the links okay and then second of all the map on the contact page I'll show you how to set that okay so the links now you'll find that these these buttons okay they're called call to actions that's designed to get people to move through your website so this is the home page obviously and then the find out more button this can be anything you want it can be uh, you know get a quote contact us it can be anything but what they're doing is basically saying find out more which goes to the about page because very often customers they land on your website and they want to know more about you first so it depends on your business uh, if you are in construction or you are in beauty, <coughs> excuse me, or something where your potential customers first want to find out more about you, then I would definitely suggest that you know this button goes to the about page so they can learn more about you. If uh, it's more simpler, like let's say you're a plumber, electrician, or whatever the case may be, and they want a job done, they this could be like uh, contact us or. It can be uh, maybe get a quote uh, depending on the on the actual job needed so you just got to think put yourself in your visitor's shoes and just think about where you'd like them to go next or where <coughs> you think they should go next okay to best serve them so that's one button there I'll show you now how to make sure that this one goes to the about page when they click here then there's two other buttons on this example this goes to the projects page click on there and it should go to your projects page and then uh, the get quote should go to the contact page right so um, that's one way to link is the actual button okay then on the services page I want to show oh, sorry the projects page okay now remember the projects page gives the general um, lowdown and information on the various projects that you've done okay now wait a minute projects here so the projects page gives you the the breakdown of all the projects right so imagine we've got your projects and then we've got the specific projects right so let's say this is project one two and three right if they click on here you want them to be able to go to, let's say this is project one you want them to click here and go to project one page does it make sense that's another way to link to another page is there's no button but there's a text link right um, so I'll show you how to change all that right now. Okay. So let's start with the home page. Get it with the Elementor you see here. Just click that. Okay. So this is really easy. Um, what you want to do is you want to say find out. You want to click on the button. Remember you want this to go to the about page right so if you look at the bottom left of the screen if I, if I hover over about it gives me the URL okay it's your website name forward slash whatever you name this page which is about okay so what you want to do is click on the button and you want to make sure that the link goes to whatever the URL is of that page so HTTP Okay, so we just say DIY. So whatever your website name is, and whatever the page name, which is about. So another way to do this would be 
if you just went to your website just click on the about page click on the about page all you do is just copy and paste you just take this there we go what do you do do this copy and just insert it here simple to paste you just say control V and that paste it in there okay you don't need that there <clears throat> that's it that's done so also you can obviously change the text so let's say uh, you wanted to say something else there we go find out um, learn more about us or whatever you can change the color by, by going to style and you can play with the colors but you, you can play with all that okay so then you come down here and then view projects right you want to know so I'm gonna go go into my website and just click on projects here and then I'm just gonna copy control C you copy and remember you want this to go to this page right the projects page so here you are on the button copy paste control B that's gonna go to your projects page now and that's it you do the same with all the buttons you do the same sorry you do the same with all the buttons on your page on your sorry on your website okay you just update that obviously you would do it with all the buttons including this one over here get a quote okay the get quote would go to the contact page obviously okay. um, so that's that let's see. You change this quickly so when you click on learn about us learn more about us that should go to the about page there we go okay then what else did we, we change the second button as well remember the second button uh, we changed to go to your projects page I think it was okay. more projects should go there we go simple okay so now um, these little links over here these um, text links they call them uh, what you want to do is obviously change it just like you did the button exactly the same process okay and obviously let's let's assume that this is project one two and three pages that's the pages right and um, let me just show you how that looks project one that's the project one page obviously you'd come in and edit and you know make it relevant to your actual business and you'd obviously add the menu if you want to add the menu there I would highly recommend obviously a menu throughout the website then um, so as I'm so as I, as I was saying we can edit this now so edit with Elementor but we want to be able to create a link that then goes to the actual project one page which is this one over here okay so let's just while we edit copy this control C because this is where we want to send it that's the URL where we want to send it to right so scroll down to the link let's just assume this was demo I mean project one okay and click on there again or you can right click and edit button <coughs> Well, text whatever you're going to call that and then in the link you want to just control V you want to send it to that page okay update and that is it you do the same with all these links all these text links okay so view the page just click on that I just click on this I button here to preview the changes and it takes you to the preview page so now if I click on yeah it will take me straight to project one page simple okay so you get the idea guys you know how to edit your everything you know how to delete a section you know how to add your own images you know how to change the text you know how to uh, make sure the links go to the right places 
The last thing I want to show you is the map, how to change that according to you know your business and where you locate it. So you go to contact. You'll find that most of the themes on the contact page will have a map, not all of them, but I would highly suggest highly suggest it so that people find you a lot easier if they ever want to find you. <clears throat> okay. So edit with Elementor. Okay. Right click, edit. Um, so let me just make up one here quickly. Okay, we'll use a generic. This is an address I just found on Google. It's of a construction company in Cape Town, just for the tutorial. So as you can see, there we go. So it's listed now. Obviously, if your business is not listed on Google, it won't show you. you know, it, let's say, for example, it's not listed and you're in Cape Town. It might just show a map of Cape Town, you know. So, um, but yeah, your, your, your business should be on Google. So, um, or the address should be listed on Google. So you shouldn't have a problem. Just put your address in here and it should display like this. It looks beautiful. Simple. That's it. Edit. Add your address. Update. Okay guys, that's it. Um, your website looks good. Let's just go and preview changes. Obviously it's up to you to um, go ahead and edit as much as you want or as little, as little as you want. Obviously try and customize the website as much as possible to your web, to your business. In other words, put the images of your actual, let's say this was a construction business that you're in, put an image of your actual guys working, uh, put your own text in here. Uh, put your own details, your own facts, how many projects you've done. Put your own pictures of your guys busy working there. Uh, put the actual logos of your uh, clients. Or delete it all. Delete what you don't want. Chuck out the things you don't want. You can remove this if you want. Do what you got to do to make it as customizable to your business as possible. And again, you can't break anything. Remember, you just uh, you just you just you know go back, revert back to the old designs um, or the original design as you see it here. Um, and then take it from there. If you've got any questions, you can ask in the uh, Digital DIY SA Facebook group. Um, if you're not sure, it's just digital. Just go facebook.com forward slash digital DIY SA. And that's a Facebook group where I uh, obviously take it much further. This is, this is step one. Building your website is step one. And um, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more, more to actually getting your business exposure online and i want to cover much more uh, tutorials in the future and hopefully i can help you to empower you to improve your business exposure online and to help hopefully improve your bottom line okay um, i hope this has been helpful and i look forward to helping you further